So I thought it'd be fun to design some of the notorious food Pokemon as if they were from Bug Snacks, and talk about a bit of my process with y'all. Ideally, I would have recorded a real speed band, but drawing in front of my laptop camera for the entire process sounds like ADHD heck. So instead I'll just be showing my references concept art and color studies, as well as the hopefully satisfying coloring of each Pokémon's shiny. Also this is my first time using text-to-speech for anything, so any feedback on this video's presentation and or suggestions on how I could improve are as always appreciated. Alright let's go gamers yee. So how much these designs adhere to either the original Pokémon or to Bugsnax lore is going to vary a bit going forward so let's start off with a simpler one, using the Swirlix and Slurpuff line. Now these are pretty quintessential that's literally food Pokémon, what with their whole sweet sticky fur thing they've got going on. And the cotton candy bit in particular reminded me of a True Facts video I watched about these little guys, Leaf Hoppers. Swirlix was a fairly simple cotton candy and those sticks cotton candy comes on into the form of a leaf hopper baby, slap some googly eyes on it, ship it out. As Zfreak notes, Some keep their waxy tails. Though I decided to carry over some of the Swirlix snacks cotton candy into Slurpuff's design. While throwing Slurpuff's Bulbapedia page into a blender and reshaping the result into the long patterned shape of a leaf hopper adult. And of course both Swirlux and Slurpuff keep their signature tongues, despite being bug snacks and not having mouths what have I done to these port creatures my god. Look out the window! There's a tree! So here's my issue with Trippias. Big strong banana dinosaur, love it very much, that's all well and good but like, look at this thing. There's no way that'll pass as a common bug snack design, he too damn complicated. Hence, I defied Arsus and gave him not one but two prevos, in the form of these silly little guys. Sort of like how two bopsicles or pultosses combine into one larger bug snake. They come together to make Trapeas. I knew I wanted Trapeas to be a long-necked weevil, so I, I just went. So yay, there's like 60,000 weevil or something out there, and two of them happen to be banana weevils and wheat weevils, so put them together and what do you got? Once I figured out what food and bug combo to use. The rest of the design fell into place pretty easily, just a banana bread bug combining elements from both Benevil and Weavil with a couple of details like the plastic knives and banoppers on. It's chin being added as I went. It's of course based on a sunflower beetle, whose pattern already bears a striking resemblance to a sunflower seed. Other than that, I wanted to retain the just a little guy energy this kind of grass, type Pokemon has, so its Bugsnax gimmick is having a shelled form to better mimic Sunkern's shape. With its unshelled form incorporating a jar of sunflower butter, and more leaves to vaguely reference sunflora, And I would use a similar design element for It's Bell Sweet! Nothing much else to say, the shelled form mimics Bell Sweet's round shape, while the unshelled form reveals more of the fruit and adds some Stine elements. 
The bug I referenced in this case was the Noctuid moth, whose caterpillars have been known to feed on and cause massive damage to mangrustine trees. I had to reach up to get to the cherry on the top. Got it. Given there's already a cherry-based bug snack in the form of cherry, this design was essentially a cherry mega evolution, taking a bit more inspiration from an actual snow flea in this case. The springy legs were a bench to draw, but worth the result in my humble opinion. My mouth is full of oil! Thick cooking oil! I designed the small of the live and are believe a line in a similar way to those of Bounceweet and Sunkern previously, but rather than having shelled and unshelled forms, I simply translated their line to two separate snacks. In addition to olives themselves, I also included some olive stuffed focaccia in their designs, a variation of Italian flatbread I found some very delicious looking recipes for online. The bug to their snack is the olive lace bug, which commonly feeds on the sap of olive trees. It's C -Dot. C -Dot. Yet another grass type scrumblo, but designed quite a bit differently. I knew I wanted to base it off of the Nopper Gull Wasp, because what this insect does to acorns terrifies me to this day. Still more terrifying is the fact that I still have friends when my Google search history includes such poignant phrases as recipes using acorns. My questionable priorities aside. I landed on using acorn waffles and bundt cake in the design, along with plenty of leaves so Newsleaf and Shiftry don't feel too left out of this video. <laughs> Not much to say about these two. Cute fluffy Virginia tiger moth equals cute fluffy caterpillar and moth made out of cream, I don't make the rules. Pretty proud of how they turned out, nonetheless. Similar to Cherubi, there already exists a bug snack which includes mushrooms, so in classic bug snacks variant style. I took Shiska Bug's general shape and slapped on more Kremini mushrooms and some Pokeball emblems, along with a less skittish vibe in its expression. There are species of ant that have symbiotic relationships with fungi, so it all seemed fitting. <laughs> 